Hey everybody, um, thanks for coming back to part three. Um, so in this, in this video, we're gonna go over a method that I use to help people build um, a stretch between their fingers. I don't encourage those things where you kind of uh, you put the rubber bands over your fingers and stretch them apart. I just don't know that that's what your fingers need to really build the stretch. I think you need to play the guitar and have exercises for stretching your fingers on the guitar. So here it is. I call this the stair step exercise and I'm gonna have two versions of this and of each version there's an easy version and a hard version. So the first one is this right here. I want you to place your pinky right on the 12th fret. If you're using an acoustic guitar, this will be right where the body meets the neck. Then put your third finger on the second string, 11th fret. Put your third finger on the third string, 10th. Your first finger on the fourth string, 9th. For some of you, this may be all that you can do. You don't even need to strum it. Just put your fingers down and hold that. Notice if, you, if your fingers are like this, and just see if you can uh, release, releasing your fingers apart. Just let it release. Now, the fun thing about this chord is that it sounds really terrible. I won't get into the music theory right here, but it sounds like this. Yeah, that's crunchy. So I actually really enjoy listening to that, and it's different from a lot of the other stuff that I have to play. All right, so if you're able to do this, the next step is to just shift it down one fret towards the headstock. Work your way down with me here. Just feel your fingers expand, and you may need to stop around here, head back to the 12th fret, and just start over again. All right, keep working through this with me. All right. Now this may be an exercise that you come back to even if once you're through much further through this series and you're shifting between chords with ease. You may want to still come back to this to develop this stretch. All right, that was the easy version of the exercise. Here's the more difficult version. Start in the same place, pinky on the 12th fret, stair stepping down to the ninth on the fourth string. And we're gonna play uh, the same thing, but now I'm gonna shift my first finger back. Now I'm gonna shift my second finger. And third fourth. You can see I'm even struggling with this. not need to make it all the way down. If you begin feeling pain for any reason, any kind of sharp shooting or tingling pains, stop, 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 stop. But if you just feel like you're getting a workout in, that's actually okay. Okay. Now, Here's the other way you can do this exercise. Do the same thing, but start with your fourth finger on the fourth string, 12th fret. Now stair step your fingers the other way. Now this is a major seven chord, so this is gonna be very pretty. And just like in the other exercise, take your time and just work down the fretboard. See if you can get some space between your fingers. Just let your hand open up. If you come back to this and you just ask your hand to open up, it will eventually. It'll just take some time. All right, so that wasn't so bad. So now we're gonna do the more difficult version. Again, 
it's all the space between my fingers here. That's what we're shooting for. You might have noticed that I actually changed how I was holding the guitar so I could get a little closer into the neck and reach my hand under. Um, that's totally fine. And actually, that might help you find a better guitar position. All right. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me for uh, that um, stretching exercise. Again, if you feel any kind of pain, stop, give it a rest. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. All right. We'll see you at part four.